Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Let's now complete page 22 of the grade two Discovering Music Theory workbook. And we're going to move on and look at exercise four, where we need to show whether each of these exercise examples are grouped correctly or not. And the things to be looking out for are, are we beaming quavers and semiquavers into each beat? Are we observing the exceptions to that rule where we can show each half beat, sorry, each half of a bar? or a full bar's rest, or silence, or beaming in minim beats worth, as it were. And don't forget that we can beam over a rest as well to clearly show where each group falls. And so looking at the example that we've been given, we have common time here, which is four crotchet beats per bar. And so we need to show crotchet beat one, crotchet beat two, not beaming over the halfway point in the bar. Now here we have a half a beat. Let's just divide this out. There's our crotchet beat. We have a half a beat, a quarter of a beat's rest, a quarter of a beat note. All of that gives us one crotchet beat that's all beamed together appropriately. And then there's beat four. So that's correct. Let's move on. So now we're showing three minim beats per bar. And so we have crotchet note, crotchet rest. There's a minim. Now here we have a triplet, which means three crotchet beats in the time of two crotchet beats, which is one minim. And then we know that quaver, quaver equals crotchet, quaver, quaver equals crotchet. There's our minim beat. So one, two, three, all appropriately grouped with the appropriate rests as well. So that's correct. Let's press on to C. Now then here, we should have three crotchet beats per bar. So there is crotchet beat one, that's a quaver rest and a quaver rest. However, there is no need to show those individual half beats. We can just show a crotchet beats rest. So that should be that. Then quaver, quaver is one beat. Quaver, quaver beat rest is another beat. So although the bar's correctly written in terms of the right number of beats, that that's inappropriate. We just need to show a crotchet beats rest, so that's wrong. And so perhaps now you feel equipped to just try and answer these remaining exercises. So do have a go and just work in pencil because it's okay if you go a little bit wrong, you can just erase it out. So here we should have two crotchet beats per bar. And so Remembering that one crotchet divides into two quavers or four semiquavers, we have semiquaver, semiquaver, semiquaver rest, semiquaver note. All of that is one crotchet beat properly beamed with the rest, just taking the place of a semiquaver note there. That's correct. There's beat one, there's beat two. Three quavers in the time of two but they should be beamed, shouldn't they? Quavers should be beamed. And so although that's the correct timing, they should be beamed together, so that's not correct. We should join those together to show there's our crotchet beat three in the time of two. So let's now move on. Now here, this one does pose as a little bit of a problem because we have three quaver beats per bar. One quaver, 
semi semi is another semi semi is another and that does look like it should be correct and I think if I remember correctly the answer book does say that this is correct however remember we can beam everything together in 3 8 so we could beam it like that so I would suggest that this is incorrect because this should be beamed together we don't want just one quaver on its own and so I would suggest that that should be incorrect. I think it's a misprint in the answer book because we can beam everything together. So um, I would suggest that is the usual accepted form for that. Now here we have four crotchet beats per bar. There is one crotchet beat, there is two crotchet beats and they are properly beamed together to show a minimum beats worth. We've not gone over the halfway point of the bar, so that's correct, we're okay there. And then we have quaver and two semi-quavers which gives us another quaver, there's our crotchet beat and so those are beamed to show that and then there is the final beat, so that one is correct. And that's that exercise completed. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel you can buy me a coffee and for advert free lessons you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.